everyone! Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And today's project is a really simple one. In fact, all you need are your basic sets. So our basic foliage set and our basic flower set. We're just going to use those two. And uh, we're going to create this really cute column and arbor. Um, I'm actually traveling, so I have only my basics with me, but that doesn't matter. These things are so easy to travel with. You can take these little elements with you and create all kinds of things just with a few sets. So this is the project for this week, and uh, it only requires a few things and a few markers. So let's get started, and I'll show you how to do this. So we're going to take our watercolor part, uh, paper, and we just need a straight edge. So I'm using a little ruler I have but you can use anything for a straight edge. And you're going to make a line about in the center of the page. So use your fine tip, either from your Marvy or from your Tombow or any of your other markers. Use your fine tip and color in using the number 86. And don't, don't color the line in solid. Just leave a few little uh, breaking spots here and just kind of break up the line. We don't want this look to look too structured. And the other line I drew about a half inch away. So don't stress out about this. It really isn't that big of a deal. So the next step is to dip our brush in water and we're gonna pull the color out of the lines. So we're gonna drag this color over. So let me just get some water on my brush here and we're just gonna drag this color down. This column is white, so we started with the number 86 because we don't want to leave anything white uncolored. We need to have color on it so that it looks three-dimensional. And remember the darkest color is on the sides. So we want to focus our color on the sides. Okay, so we've got our little column put in. Now we're gonna drag some of that color to the outside. So pull out some of this color and just drag it out. Don't stress out about this part either. This is just gonna add some dimension to our project and we're going for that three-dimensional look. That's what we want. Okay, there we go. We're pretty much finished with this part. So now we're gonna ink up our vine. So our little vine, our little basic element that is used in so many different projects. So actually this one right here. And we're gonna use the whole thing this time. Normally when we ink this vine up, we're putting it in a container or putting it in the background, and so we don't need the whole thing. But this, this little vine has a bend in it, and the reason it has a bend is so that it can grow up things like this. So we can use it on columns. So we're going to uh, just ink this up now. And we're gonna stamp it across the column. So one, two, three, four, and one or two on the other side. So we're gonna repeat that process again. One, two, three, four, five, over on the other side. And do it one more time at the top. One, two, three, four, five. And actually we're gonna bring that down again. So we're gonna drop this little vine down over the top. And we're just gonna give the idea of the arbor as it drops down. Okay, remember watercolor is the idea of things, so we don't need to have concrete lines. We can just show, show things as they appear to be. Okay, so now we're gonna add water, and we're just gonna dab. Pinch your brush off, make sure you don't get too much water in here, and just kinda bounce your brush up and down. Remember, we're not, we're not poking it, we're just stroking. Okay, we can go around the column. Don't worry if the blue gets into the green here, that's okay. It actually adds a lot to mix these colors together. So just keep going. This ink will have dried really quickly. So uh, adding the water just activates the color again. And because we stamped it in a repeat, we get the dark and the light impression here. So we've got that three-dimensional look going on. Okay, we're about finished with this. The more you blend this, the softer the image is gonna be, so that's up to you. You can leave a lot of white areas if you want, and you will kind of develop your own style after a while. I kind of like blending all the colors together. I think that looks really natural. Okay, now let's move on to the flowers. And we're gonna use our little Daisy Bunch 
So that would be this one, this little filler flower. And we're just gonna ink a couple of these. So because we're doing a small bloom in the background, I don't know if you can see that on here, I'm just gonna ink this little group of flowers here. That's the nice thing about using a stamp is that you can ink just the parts that you want. So remember we stamp this in a repeat and that just means we ink once and stamp over and over again. One, two, three, four, five. If it helps you to count, that's the best way to do it. It's so important that you get that repeat in there so that you get the dark to light impression. We can put a few more little blooms in here. Maybe some down here. There we go, starting to look more natural. And now we're gonna add our water. And you can see how that dark comes forward, the light goes back, because we've stamped it over and over. It's all about the way that you stamp it. And look how fast and easy this is. So far, we've only used two stamps. And I think we finished this whole project up with about three. So super easy to travel with, and you can do these just cutest little paintings with just a few things. That's what's so great about that basic set too, is because it is in everything, but it also stands alone. So it's great to take just alone. Okay, finishing this up here, getting all our little flowers in. And I'm actually using the purple, so the number eight violet. Okay, so we're gonna take another element from the flower set. So the little salvia here, and actually it's, it's, a, it's, it's made to be a salvia, but we're gonna hang it upside down. So we're gonna stamp it this way, and we're just gonna ink about half of it. So I've used it just on a little block here, and I don't need to, I don't need to ink the stem, I just need to ink the blooms. So about three quarters of it, and I'm just gonna stamp it upside down. Ink it again. And stamp it again. I love how this turns out. Don't, don't make them all the same. Make them all different lengths. You can ink it and stamp it about two or three times. That's okay, but these are more like accent flowers when you hang them like this. So you don't need to get them on, you don't need to stamp them five times. And remember when you're stamping these dense images, you're inking your water, or adding water to the lines. So you, you don't wanna add water to the open areas. So in other words, you don't want a big oval shape hanging here. You wanna leave the integrity of the flower. And so you wanna just keep your brush touching the lines and leave those empty spaces. It's gonna look way more natural that way. Okay, so we've got this in here. Drag a little bit of this color now either the purple or the blue, and just draw in a few lines here. This is really, really soft. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but just draw a few lines in to give the impression of the column. It's much better to use what you have rather than uh, using the fine tip when it's something this subtle. It's much better to just drag the color down uh, from the image that you have already. Okay, looking pretty good. So let's just add a little grass at the bottom and we're gonna be finished with this. This is a large grass. And remember this, this one also, we stamp it over and over again. One, two, three, four, five. I kind of feel like this column would be in the tall grass, a little overgrown. So just drag that color up and out. You're not limited to the size of the stamp, so you can pull that color up and out. It's gonna look way more natural that way. You can go in and add a few more touches. Make sure that you got everything watered down really well. And that looks pretty good. Love it. Sign your name, sign and date, it's gonna be different every time you do it. And thanks so much for watching. See you next week.